Right, now I took you through my rigs that I've been using today. All right, I'll show you through the one that I've got on the edge of the tree line. That's a KD rig I've got here. Right, I've got on a complete running rig. This is a buffer bead, just tied onto the swivel for my rig. It's just, that's the most simple set lead set up you can possibly get. Be catching fish for years and it'll catch fish for many, many more years to come. And this is the end, the rig's probably six inches long, maybe a bit more. Uh, right, that, and that's the setup there. Basically, for a KD rig, you tie a normal, uh, you tie a normal, like this knot, but on, you do two turns with the hair, then you flip the hair back, <coughs> and then you do net number five. So basically, all the hair is, is the hair flicks back on itself, and it comes out almost at the eye. That, so that means it can sit up like that, that way from the hook, and it's, it's well balanced. So if a fish comes along, sucks it, or sucks any food around it, now it goes straight up. And that turns really well, that hook. It's a size 10 curve shank. That's a cell bottom bait I've got on. And a Nash, I can't remember what it is. Literally, I've got a bucket there with about 10 different pots of pop-ups, all different flavours. Mostly Nash though, that's the best pop-ups I've used. Uh, 10 mil. It's a snowman setup. It's a bottom bait pop-up. And it sits put it like that, just on the bottom, like that. Looks really buoyant, and that's caught me loads of fish. And hopefully, another one this session. I took you through my helicopter rig now, I've got over in the bay to my left over here, just flicked out. So I've cut off the, this is the lead setup, I've cut, cut off the swivel to that, then tied the line, let me get that off, and tied the line straight onto the end like that. Yeah, that's just a towel rubber for a leg clip there. Yeah. I'll just slide that over the top of the fish perfectly. Then I've got a small chob rig here. This small chob rig, probably about an inch and a half long. That's on a D rig, so but you just tie a bit of bait floss around that. Then I've got a fox quick shot up the line. Basically, it's a shot you put elastic through, and that doesn't move, but when it's under pressure, it moves a bit. So if the fish it's how if I snap off, if it, and if fish comes on, gets that, the leg gets caught, that will just push off with these, and then the fish is free. And I've got another, that's a swan shot there, and I've got a small BB shot, another one of the fox ones, throughout the line just to sink it. So basically, that it casts that like that with a chob rig there. Then when the leg goes down, because there's a pop-up on the D-rig, when the leg goes down, that'll slide up, hit that, and it was sitting on top of everything, like that, away from the lead, and it should, it, that's the best presentation, nice presentation for a shawbrick. I think it's better than having it straight off the lead, off a lead clip, because you're getting away from your lead, getting away from all the big items on your rigs. I think a bit more conspicuous, and it's just a nice looking rig. That's meant to be, when you use this for, I, when I do distance fishing on reservoirs or big pits, this is the setup I use, but I use lead core, shock leader, and I've got beads here, just so the rig can't go that much. That's the best caster rig you can get, a helicopter rig. And if used correctly, that's the best fish safety rig you could possibly use. Uh, what else to talk about? But yeah, basically, the reason I'm using these rigs for is because that's, that's what I think will suit the situation best on the lake. But I'm lucky I only live 10 minutes away from here. So I'm here almost every day. Like in the winter, I might have a two minute walk round. Or in the summer, I could have a two hour walk round, just climb up the trees, watch the water and watch the fish. The thing with fish is that you can tell after a while of looking at them, what fish are just lazy about getting a bit of sun and what are doing something, want to feed. And you could tell that, but I like, won't you watch the fish quite a bit. And that's paid off for quite a fish to me, just the back work onto it. That's why I've done quite well on the lake. Just from the groundwork I've been to try and catch the fish from here. It's paid off. Hopefully this session it will as well.